you have all this a beautiful favorite food? celebrity chef or food personality besides Danadute? Like, um, I, I wouldn't know any. I don't know any. I mean, you must know someone, you know, or like, you know, these chefs that you've interviewed on your show or uh, um, anyone, uh, like anyone on TV, like an Anthony Bourdain or like uh, Gordon Ramsay or any of these guys. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't watch that. I, I, no, I don't, I don't watch, I don't. You know what? You're, you're such a fucking contrarian. Just I don't name... know. What do you want me to, I'll make it up. Make uh, it up. Lagasse. Emeril Lagasse. Yeah, it's a fucking dumb make one. <laughs> um, do you have a, okay, so next question. Desert island food. So you're trapped on a desert island. There's one thing that you have to eat for the rest of your life and you are not going to get tired of it. Pizza. Pizza. Do I gain weight? Uh, well, who cares? You're on a desert island. No one's going to save you. <laughs> you're going to be a fat fuck on a desert island eating pizza. I can eat pizza all day, man. Well, here's the next question. Is there a food that you can't stand eating? Is there something that you just fucking hate? You're going to laugh, bro. Uh, my mom, my, my grandfather said I eat a gula de shek. I eat everything. Everything. That's there's one ass. thing? Uh, I would probably... I would probably say liver. Liver, okay. If it's, you know, if it's more sautéed. I mean, I like it fried. Yeah. I, I also eat chicken gizzards. I don't know if you ever had those deep fried with hot yeah, sauce on it. That's they're unbelievable. They're good. They're chewy as fuck. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. What meal I'm not. Uh, I'm not a big fan of is Alfredo. Interesting. Yeah. Really. Yeah. It just. It's like, it's, it never ends. Like there's always, every time you think you're done, there's more in there. And, <laughs> and it's just like certain Alfredos don't do it for me, man. And I, and I can't, and I'm not a big wine guy. I don't drink wine. You know, it's funny. I associate Alfredo with my childhood. Cause like we used to go to this Italian restaurant and they had it. And I fucking loved it so much. And it, it's just like, it's just, it's like kind of cheating though. It's like, let's take uh, 75 cheeses and just melt them down and, you know, but it is very dense and it's, it's a but, little uh, much. It's not like I dislike it. <clears throat> I've just, it's not like everybody likes it. I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, I get that. I'm okay. And the that. wine, like I said, people always like, I hate that, man. I How do you it. not like wine? It tastes like pennies to me, man. I don't think I have a palate for it. Like I could like pennies. Oh, interesting. You know what that is? You've probably had wine that's way too tannic. So tannins basically give it that kind of in the extreme, it tastes it feels like there's like cotton on your tongue and it adds like a tinny flavor to it. So maybe you just have maybe next time we go out, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you a wine that's very low on tannins and more fruit forward. And I think you'll like it. Um, the only one that I had that I like, um, it's a Bordeaux, a Bordeaux, uh, something. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that it's like you a like... mix of wines. It's like a bunch of reds. Is it a Bordeaux? Yeah. Bordeaux is a mix. Bordeaux is a blend. Like that. I think you, here's the problem. Italian wines, uh, a lot of Italian wines are kind of sharp, especially on the fruit, like a Chianti or something. So I don't think that's your type. I think you need something that has a lot of oak. A lot of wood flavor. You like those woody flavors, like scotch and stuff like that. Yeah, Smoking dude, it. I love uh, Basil Hayden. I yeah. love, I love, uh, I love scotch, man. I got you know, you. I think it could be too. Is my mom when we were younger? Uh, she had, you know, which is this is a very Italian thing to do. But she had the priest over and the nuns, and she made dinner. Yeah. And they were drinking wine, and we grew up. I grew up with those two shitty jugs on the table with the guy's face on it. Yeah, the shitty Chianti. And I just fucking, I was like five and I just got into the wine and just threw up all over the driveway. And I don't think oh, I can, you I don't up, think I can you, go near it. Maybe that's threw, got something to do with it. You threw up the blood of Christ in front of the priest <laughs> and the nun. <laughs> Talking about chicken a la king, mango and garbanzo, tabbouleh, Real potatoes and vegetables, with roasted garlic and basil, zucchini, ziti, granola, fruit bar. Yeah. Look at all this beautiful food. Mm.